the dance between masculine and feminine energy. Now I asked a few female friends of mine today, do they understand that they too have masculine energy? So many of them don't actually have the awareness that they too have masculine energy. Now masculine and feminine energy is something that is a dance between the two. We all have it. And sometimes we get unhealthy into one side of it. So many women believe that they don't have that masculine energy, as I said. But the truth of the matter is, is without that masculine balance and direction, the creative aspect of the feminine flow is not gonna have the stability. So women these days find themselves either falling into the masculine because of unhealthy relationships with their parents or more so their father. Maybe they looked at their mother as being the strong dominant one in the relationship. So they too have taken that on or perhaps at the same time, it's stepping into a job environment that is so masculine and so male dominated that they then feel as though they need to step into their masculine so strongly and overcompensate for it because if they don't, then their feminine is seen to be a weakness. Now, at the end of the day, I truly believe that women are far stronger than males, especially when they step into that masculine energy. Things really get done. There are so many highly successful females out there, but I feel one of the things that is a struggle at this point in time is finding the balance between dropping back into the feminine energy that is so crucial for the female. It's crucial for the dynamics of relationships. How many of you, or maybe your friends, have said, oh, guys these days, they're too soft, they're too weak, they're too passive, they're too this. And look, part of me is not disagreeing because there are a lot of men out there that are not actually going out after their dreams and things like that. But one of the thoughts that comes to mind is it's also being able to have a conscious awareness as to when maybe you're able to step back into your feminine side and allow the male to step into to his masculine side. So it's really coming back to a self-awareness as to how you operate when you're in your masculine domination as far as your business focused, your drive, your goals, getting the kids to school, getting them to sporting practice, getting them all over the place. That's more of a masculine dominating energy because it's something that is more driven, direct and intentional. Whereas when you step into more of a creative flow, maybe it is something like cooking food or maybe going and entertaining friends or maybe arts or maybe something that is self-expression. This is more of that feminine creativity and both of them are very very crucial so women are you aware drop it in the comments that you too have masculine and feminine energy and how does it show up for yourself how do you flow between the two and if you got any value out of this one like it share it comment it show it some love and i'll see you on the next one